Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of them videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan, I'm telling you. All right, you'll pick up a lot of knowledge. There. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Tank Davis versus Hector Garcia. Let's get straight into it. The only film that was available for me of Hector Garcia versus a fellow Southpaw was his fight with Avalar. In that fight, the majority of Hector's game revolved around a probing jab and active lead hand. Hector then chose from three main options, probe to bait and counter, Certainly, uh, Garcia, his right hook that dropped Garcia. It's Garcia looking to stay unbeaten. And, uh, he's been very impressive. Again, the guy who knocked him out was, uh, uh, which was, and, and I think Garcia is, he's not doing it right now. They told him the way around. Probe to draw the guard and hook. And disguise starting his attack with the probe or forgo the probe for the jab or lead power. We can make it today. It's interesting. Oh, you know, Lennox, he's been 30 seconds and he hasn't had very likely. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Oh, yeah. this long because it certainly hasn't gone his way. I could see Hector having some success with his pro game if the fight goes some rounds and Hector makes Tank rest in his high guard like he has shown in the past. He's a lot calmer in there and able to throw a lot. Uh, the former champion. And, uh, I learn, and if he fights better fighters. The other most notable tactic Hector liked to use and which I was impressed with was taking advantage of poor fundamentals on disengagements and resets. Throughout all levels of boxing, you'll find fighters who forego using fundamental footwork and break their base or break stance in disadvantageous positions. The more time you're in your boxing stance and ready, the better off you are. The freezes I'm showing are highlighting Hector Garcia's attack in relation to his opponent's foot positioning on the reset. Most of the time you'll notice that the op has one foot in the air and isn't set, or he's walking in the stance and cross-stepping, or even resetting on his front foot. Tank can be susceptible to being attacked while breaking his base when he uses his lateral movement. However, Tank certainly is an Avalar and happens to be a fighter who is good at sticking to fundamental footwork. So if this is a staple to Hector's game instead of something they noticed in film study specifically for Avalar, he might be in for a surprise when he tries the tactic on Tank, who just may be set and ready to defend and counter. What exacerbates that possibility is Hector wasn't very good at taking his head off center line. Sometimes it never moves at all while he attacks, and other times he will dip or slip and pop it right back up to the A slot. Kind of embarrassed 
Oh, he bounced back nice. Yes, he bumps there. And it still hurt. He did the right thing. As uh, Aguilar jumped in, but that left handed. Lennox, he was saying that Aguilar could use a few more feints. Certainly, uh, Garcia has that in his patient. He's throwing the right uh, combinations, and he's also blocking coming back to punches. All right, here we go. There's Avilar reaching in. Almost got clipped with the counter hook, and then it landed that good stick. Left jab. Right. Santos and Ishmael Salas in uh, Final seconds. And once again, Brian Kenny with Lennox Lewis. Joe Goose and Patty Andrews to do that, but it might be an interesting way to open up scoring and fights of Garcia as he moves forward and his creating space. Ooh. Can we open that up so he can explain that? Is there judges to use more than the... Hey, look. To recover from those shots before he... Yeah, that was that short left hand that Garcia landed. In retreat. Avilar with the red... Garcia really looking good in this round. That left hand is, has extra length on it. Yeah. Is there a way? He, does he step in better with it or something? Or no. Had that reach this tank is simply far too prolific of a counter puncher to get away with the lack of head movement. Hector will have to clean this up if he's to have a good shot at success in a fight. Hector also has a bad tendency to back out in straight lines, which again keeps his head on the center line. Athletic and explosive opponents can easily follow him out with punches and possibly catch him breaking his base moving backwards. With, uh, with Garcia here in, in any division. So, you, you know, a guy like, uh, uh, like a furious action, Isak Avilar in the white trunks, fire dropped around and was, was you know. Hands and some right hooks. I didn't think I had to say, but Tank is one of the most athletically gifted fighters in the world who can close distance with explosive punches extremely quickly. Last, but probably what would be most impactful is Hector's tendency to utilize those probes and jabs mid-range. A single mid-range jab is dangerous. Transferring your weight to your front foot and opening up with the jab at a range where your opponent can hit you with anything could be a major issue. And even though the probe typically doesn't come with the transfer of weight, it can still be countered just like an ordinary jab because of the range. So Hector has to be fully aware with the plan if he's using a mid-range probe or jab. Avilar seems to be a good opponent for that. Look, makes sense. But again, the fact to welcome you to Minnesota, FS1, as we make on number six, Hazard. Larry, how do you have it? Unfortunately for him, Tank is a monster at countering any and every type of jab for his fellow Southpaws. Quajar is upstairs. Quajar in one fight. Coming up on the frame. Double jump. Nice. Out of the over the top of the jet. The pound crown between Dan Career. Our four and two. The body is he. He needs to be able to ability. And you have to be cognizant of that. We shot answers with the right hook. Very solid run in. Because that distance, Javante. I think this fight would be very interesting if Hector Garcia were already acclimated to the lightweight division. Facing Tank Davis as your first opponent in a new weight class moving up is a steep hill to climb. The skills alone would give anybody problems, but as everybody knows, you're probably facing the most powerful puncher at the division. On top of that are the issues of lacking head movement, which got Hector dropped against a lesser opponent and mid-range jabs and probes that have been exploited by a lesser opponent. If it lasts, Garcia may have a little more success in mid to late rounds as he's shown to adjust with the good step back game. However, I'll take Tank by knockout and I wouldn't be surprised if it was an early knockout if Tank is on his A game, but perhaps he may overlook Hector for another Garcia. Anyways, let me know who you got in the comment section, sportsbook link in the description if you want some smoke. Help spread the knowledge by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. Check out the merch store, become a member, a patron, or hit that super thanks if you'd like to support. Peace.